All right, well, we're here with uh, Joe Gustino, who fights tomorrow night at Bud Budweiser Fight for Pride for the main event. Um, now, we've seen you here before. Uh, last time you pulled off a nasty uh, arm bar, you took the guys uh, drawing out of place. Um, yeah, I heard, I heard it pop. Is, is that what you're known for, uh, your ground game? You know, I take what's out there, you know, you just, you just, that Matt Leva fight wasn't really entertaining. Um, I usually I like to go out there and give the crowd, uh, uh -huh. give the crowd a show. But uh, the Leva fight, it was a rematch fight, so I, I took it really serious and I went there to win. I didn't go there to put on a show. Um, this fight um, is going to be interesting. They gave me a six day notice, drove all the way to, from Yuma, Arizona today. Uh, so it should be interesting, you know, sucking that weight was not fun. This is really good stuff, by the way. I'm not trying to endorse it, but it's awesome. Um, Submissions-wise, Matt Leva, after that fight, he, uh, I apologized to him for uh, dislocating his elbow. He told me it was his fault. No need to apologize. He, he understood that he didn't want to uh, tap out, he didn't want to submit. And, uh, yeah, that's just, that's just how it is. It's, it, what's the saying? Tap or snap, you know? It's just, all right. um, now, do you, do you always stay in shape? Were you in shape when they called you in for the fight, or how did that work? Yeah, I uh, I usually do always try to stay in good shape. Uh, I don't know, a good two weeks ago I got a, I think it was bronchitis, so I was like hacking up some nasty aliens were coming out of my nose and running around, so it was pretty bad. I'm kind of recuperating from that, I'm not going to use that as an excuse again. I'm here for business and I'm planning on winning this fight. Uh, well, the guy you're fighting, uh, Gerald Cedillo, he says uh, that's his strength, uh, the ground. He feels uh, he could outdo you on the ground. Um, do you know anything about the way he fights and uh, what you're going to bring come fight night? You know, it was interesting because they, they contacted me six days ago for this fight. Of course, you always want to do a little research and find some stuff on the guy. I couldn't find anything on him. No, I mean, it's a MySpace page, but no, no videos. So it's going to be interesting, Just I'm just going in there, you know, just fighting this guy, knowing really not a whole lot. And, uh, you know, I have YouTube videos out there, I really don't care, you know, people watch my videos. So, his game plan is probably going to take me down, and he went, uh, by the, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the weigh-in photo, he was putting his elbow out there, so the only way you can throw a good legit elbow is usually on the ground. So, I'm guessing he wants to get on top of me and try to, you know, put some elbows on me. So. I kind of know his game plan already. That's fine. And, uh, well, I mean, you're here to win, like you said, you're here for business. Uh, how do you see the fight going for you? Ah, oh, jeez. They're so unpredictable, man. Sometimes you think you're going to go in there and just whoop a guy. You go three rounds, you know? Sometimes you're expecting a, a war, a battle. It ends in two minutes. So it really is a fight to fight. You never know what's going to happen out there. Well, I mean, last time we saw you, we didn't know much about you, but you impressed us. Now we know you come in, you know, you're a serious fighter, and we're definitely looking forward to it. We're here with uh, Gerald Sadie, who fights tomorrow at the Budweiser Fight for Pride. You're the main event, and uh, you're fighting uh, against Joe Gustina. Yeah. Uh, we saw him here fight once before. You know, he, he looked vicious off his back. Do you know anything about the way he fights and what he brings to the fight? Yeah, well, I've seen that he's a real aggressive fighter, and also uh, he works his guard really good, but uh, that's my specialty, too, is the ground game, but I, got, I do it all. Uh, I wrestle, I do Muay Thai stand-up, I work with Arlene on Muay Thai, great world uh, champion kickboxer, great submission fighter Tom Vaughn, Alfie and HB. So we got a lot of world-class fighters, so I think that uh, that's going to be my advantage in this fight is the all-around game and also uh, my training partners and my uh, trainers. Now, uh, what you know about him, did that affect the way you prepared for the fight or did you just prepare like any other fight? Well, uh, I was going to fight a fighter and give him a little bit of weight for this fight, but I guess he uh, dropped out three, pa uh, three days before this fight, so he jumped in and uh, I'm not one to back down from anybody. If they put someone in, I'm going to take the fight. And well, what can we expect from you, uh, you know, for those of us who haven't seen you fight? Uh, what can we expect come fight night? Believe that I'm gonna bring you from the first second out. I mean, all, all my fights I haven't lost in over three years, and all my fights since then ended in the first round in the last three years. So I'm gonna bring it from the beginning to end until I get that tap on my hand is raised. All right. Well, I mean, it looks like fight for Pride battle in a lot of good talent, man. You're the main event for a reason, and we definitely look forward to your time, man. Appreciate it. Right,